Hello, I'm Steve Foreman. You can find me as Tea Break Knitter on Ravelry, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube. My website is teabreakknitter.uk. Welcome to this, the first tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll explain how to make a tea card. I'll talk about what you need, how to design your card, and how to make your card. What do you need to make a tea card? Well, apart from inspiration, you need a card, some yarn, some needles or hooks, some scissors, and some glue or double-sided tape to stick your creation to the card. Now that you've got your tools to hand, you need to choose your picture. You could use an existing greetings card, you could use a photograph, you could use a drawing that you've made, or you could download a tea card from my site. For this tutorial, I'm using the first tea card that I published. When you've chosen your picture, it's time to think about how you're going to use it. Think about what's going to stand out. Has it got bold colours or do you want to put bold colours on it? Do you want to use texture and different stitch patterns? What's going to stand out? Are you going to colour parts in? Are you going to frame parts to focus attention on them? Or are you going to cover up parts so that people have to lift up the knitting or crochet to see what's underneath? Think about what your yarn's going to add to the card. Think about how it adds colour. Think about how it adds texture. For my card, I'm choosing to put yarn on top of elements in the picture. So I'm going to pick out the water as the stream flows down. I'm going to pick out some of the rocks to emphasise the physical structure of the landscape. So the water I'll do in white wool and I'll use a stitch pattern to emphasise the flow. In fact, I'm practising drop stitches. The rocks, I'll use two different colours to be able to distinguish between them. So I'll be knitting the white and the red patches on the card you can see on the screen. You're now ready to make your own card. The first thing to do is to put the picture onto the card itself. Of course, if you're using a greetings card, that's already been done for you. If you live in Europe or use the A-size papers, then print onto A4 card. You can find suitable cards online by searching for C5 envelopes and cards. If you live in the Americas or use letter-size paper, you can search for envelopes and cards 5.5 that should give you letter-size card. When you put your card into the printer, you'll be ready to print. If you've downloaded a T-card, which is in PDF format, open it up in a PDF reader and print it remembering to check the scale to size option so that that will then print it out correctly on either A4 or letter size paper. With your picture on the card you're now ready to add the yarn. You could just stick on the yarn as I've done in this example but I'm going to do a bit more for this tutorial. As I said before I'm going to knit a few boulders and I'm going to knit the streams. The streams are knitted using a drop stitch pattern because that's what I wanted to try out. Following a written pattern for a tea card is probably a bit difficult because not only does everyone have a different gauge but also you'll be printing to different size papers so any instructions that are written would have to be tailored anyway. I find the best thing to do is just knit by eye and make it the right size. I use circular needles so slipping the yarn onto the cable gives a better impression of what the finished size will be but in my case it's usually about 10% bigger than it is when it's still on the cable. So you can see me knitting one of the boulders, starting off with the first row to make sure it's about the right size, knitting up to where the boulder starts to change shape, doing a few decreases, and then binding off in the end. And that then gives me the first of the boulders. I then have to do the other boulders and the streams. All the time I'm knitting, I'm checking against the actual picture to make sure I'm just about the right size. Yarn's forgiving. I can stretch it and compress it a bit when sticking it to the card. To stick the fabric to the card, I usually use rubber solution glue, though if it's straight sided it's probably easier to use double sided tape. The fabric's forgiving and you can stretch and shrink it a bit as you stick it onto the card. Put it together and you get your final picture. I made three versions of this tea card. In the first, I just stuck yarn to the streams to give a sense of flowing water. In the second, I knit the streams and the boulders to create a more solid image. And in the third, I really went to town, and with very few colours, I tried to reproduce the original picture. 
So there are my three interpretations of the one T card, and I'm sure you can think of far better ones to do yourselves. Thank you very much for listening to this tutorial. I hope that you've enjoyed it, and until the next time, goodbye.